Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm making this video for the purpose of CSC 253 Interactive Multimedia Course in UITM This is Chapter 2, Development of Multimedia In this chapter, we are going to discuss the stages of a multimedia project Requirements for a multimedia project and the team for multimedia project First, we are going to discuss the stages of a multimedia project. The multimedia project consists of planning and costing, design and production, testing and lastly delivery. Let us discuss the planning and costing first. In planning and costing, the needs of a project are analyzed by outlining its messages and objectives. The messages of a multimedia project are what the main content that are going to be delivered to the users and the objectives are the goal that need to be achieved by developing the multimedia project. Next, a plan that outlines the required multimedia expertise is prepared. In planning and costing, the expertise that must be included in the project team must be early identified and then storyboards and sitemaps are developed a storyboard is a graphic template of a project and the sitemap are the structure of the project then the time and budget are prepared and lastly a short prototype or proof of concept is prepared this is what we call a storyboard a storyboard must contain a title of a project, the scene description, the audio description or voiceover description, the video description, and the text description. In a nutshell, a storyboard must contain all of the explanation and description of, the, of a particular scene in a project. This is a sitemap. It is an arrangement of a project that has specific information about each page. And it is used to view links and navigation of pages. From a sitemap, the project team can overview the structure of overall project. The second stage of a multimedia project is design and production. In design and production stage, the plan tasks are performed to create a finished product. And the product is revised based on the continuous feedback received from the client. Meaning that in design and production phase, the production team must always keep on reporting to the client to get the feedback. If there is any command from the client, then the production team has to into consideration and redo or redesign the project according to the client's need. The third stage is testing. The project or the program is tested to ensure that it meets the objectives of the project works on a proposed delivery platforms and meets the client requirement. If not, then the project or the program must be reversed to the second stage. Stage number four is delivery, where the final product is packed and delivered to the users by using various kind of platform. Now, let us move to the second subtopic for this chapter. It is requirement for a multimedia project. There are four requirements altogether. Number one is intangible requirements. Number two is hardware. Number three is software. The last one is authoring system. Now, let us move to the first requirement, intangible requirement. Intangible requirement. 
The first intangible requirement for a project is creativity. In a multimedia project, being creative implies knowledge of hardware and software. And also, the team have to take inspiration from the earlier experiments and industry standards, modify and add their own creative touches. This means the team have to do some research in a particular field in order to complete a multimedia project. The second intangible requirement is organization. It is essential to develop and organize outline detailing the skills, time, budget, tools and resources needed to the project. The details are all of these things. The assets such as graphic, sound, video and animation files must be continuously monitored. Above all, Naming convention is also important, meaning that a standardized file naming procedure should be followed for precise organization and swift retrieval in the future. The last intangibles requirement are communication skill. Communication among the work group or the teammate and client is essential to the efficient and accurate completion of your project. Project team must have a very clear communication with the client. And also, the use of high quality equipment and software is also essential for a stable and fast networking of the work group. Second requirement for multimedia development project is the hardware. Nowadays, there are two major computer hardware developers that contribute to the multimedia development. They are Apple Macintosh and also the IBM PC. The Macintosh as well as Windows PCs offers a combination of affordability and software and also hardware availability. However, the Macintosh platform is better suited for multimedia production than the Windows platform. Because the hardware platforms provided by Apple are better equipped to manage both sound and video editing. The third requirement that must be fulfilled in multimedia development is software. The multimedia software provide specific instruction to the hardware for performing tasks and the two software that are needed to the development of multimedia project are production tools and authoring tools. The example of production tools are all the tools that is needed to develop the element of multimedia. For example, Adobe Photoshop is used to manipulate or images. The Audacity is used to produce and edit the file. And the authoring tools are the tools or software that is used to gather all of the elements into one particular multimedia project. Next, let us discuss the last subchapter of this topic. It is the team that is needed in the production of multimedia project. A complex multimedia project, uh, of course, often assembled by teams of artists and also the computer people. Normally, the task can be delegated to those most skilled in a particular discipline or field. Multimedia production team may require as many as 18 discrete roles. But in this video, I will only explain to you nine of them. They are the project manager, multimedia designer, interface designer, writer, video specialist, audio specialist, multimedia programmer, web producer, and the computer programmer.
project manager is responsible for the overall development, implementation, and day-to-day -day operation of the project. He or she designs and manages the overall project. The project manager must have the understanding of the strengths and limitations of hardware and the software used in the project. He or she also ensures the people are organized well. Above all, the project manager must convey information between the team and the client. Second is multimedia designer. A multimedia designer is a group of people that consists of a graphic designers, illustrators, animators, and image processing specialists who deal with visual, thereby making the project appealing and aesthetics. There is also instructional designers in multimedia design team who make sure that the subject matter is presented clearly for the target audience. Normally, the instructional designers is needed when a multimedia involved in making instructional project where for education. Multimedia designer also consists of interface designer who devise the navigational pathway and the content maps. Also information designers who structure the content determine user pathways and feedback, and select the presentation media in the multimedia designer team. An interface designer is responsible for creating a software device that organizes content, allows users to access or modify content, and present the content on the screen. An interface designer is responsible to build a user-friendly interface. A writer is responsible for creating characters, actions, point of view and interactivity in a multimedia project. He or she writes the proposals and test screens. The writer also writes the script for voiceovers and actors' narrations. Number five is video specialist. Video specialists are able to deliver the video on CD, DVD or the web. Video specialist needs to understand how to high shoot quality video and transfer the video footage to a computer. A video footage is the raw video that is captured from a, a device. Video specialist also need to know how to edit the footage down to a final product using a digital non-linear editing system. We have an audio specialist. An audio specialist is responsible for locating and selecting suitable music talent. The audio specialist is responsible to schedule the recording sessions and digitizing and editing the recorded material into a computer files. Next, we have multimedia programmer, a software engineer. A multimedia programmer is responsible to integrate all the multimedia elements into a seamless project using authoring system or programming language. He or she writes codes for the display of multimedia element and to control various peripheral devices. The multimedia programmer manage timings, transitions, and record keeping. Meaning that a multimedia programmer are the give the final touch that assemble all of the elements like text, images, audio, video, and animation into one particular project. Next, we have web producers or multimedia producer for the web. The role of web producer is to put together a coordinated set of pages for the web. They also coordinate and update the changes if needed. And lastly, we have a computer programmer. A computer programmer 
is a person just like a multimedia programmer where he or she puts all multimedia the element in one place the programming systems without the programming talent there can be no multimedia all for the chapter number two the development of multimedia project hope to see you again in the next chapter thank you